Hey guys, Mark here, and this video is going to be a little bit more educational than my average videos are. If you guys watched my last video, you know that I just bought an Oculus Quest and that I'm loving every single second that I spend in VR. But yesterday I remembered something. Before I bought the Quest, there really wasn't any videos out there showing exactly how the Oculus Quest looks when you put on the headset. And to be honest, those videos still don't exist. I've watched a few videos where people put cameras inside the headset, but they're actually not nearly as accurate as you might think. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why that is and then show you, to the best of my ability, how it actually looks inside a VR headset. The first thing I'm going to do is put my camera inside the headset and show you what it looks like. As soon as the headset boots up, you'll notice that there's this really annoying grid-like pattern across the entire image. And don't get me wrong, that does exist, but it looks much worse here than it does in real life. In order for me to explain exactly why that is, we gotta get a little bit technical. Every camera has a sensor. Some sensors are bigger, some sensors are smaller, but they all have the same thing in common. They contain a set of photo sites that are arranged in a grid-like fashion, very similar to the set of pixels found on your average display panel. Photo sites are these really tiny little receptors that capture light, but all you really need to know is that they're arranged into a grid array. The problem is that when the grid array from your camera's sensors and the pixel grid found on the display mesh together, they form this really odd looking third pattern called moiré, and it really does not look good. You can see this effect plainly when you take your phone camera and try to take a picture or video of your computer monitor. You get this really annoying pattern that looks like you're taking a picture through a screen door. It happens pretty much any time you try and capture a pattern of something small, like when someone is wearing a striped shirt or when shooting video of a tight fence. And that's the exact same sort of thing that you see when you try and capture a video inside of a VR headset. Now I'm not saying that the screen door effect doesn't exist, it does. It's just not nearly as prominent as these videos would have you believe. Because the displays inside a VR headset are so close to your eyes and the resolution of most headsets are still under 1440p, the pixel density of the displays aren't high enough to prevent you from seeing the individual pixels. So your next question might be, okay, so if all cameras have this problem when recording a screen, how exactly can I see how the VR headset looks when I have it on my head without actually putting it on my head? And the answer to that is, well, that's actually pretty hard to get right since the grids will have to line up the right way and not move. So instead, what I'm gonna do is create a grid layer in Photoshop that looks as close as I can possibly get it to how the grid appears inside the Oculus Quest. I'll put my headset up to my eyes, memorize the image, then take it off, overlay the grid, put it back on, modify that grid, and just repeat that process until it looks as identical as I can make it to the real thing. And this is the result. As you can see, it's not nearly as bad as the recorded video might have you believe. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the time when you're playing a game on the Oculus Quest, you don't perceive that grid at all. It's really not something that ever takes you out of the immersion. I did own the original Oculus Rift before the Quest, and I can tell you for a fact that the Quest has a much, much better display. The screen door effect on the original Rift was definitely more prominent, and it was something you could notice even after playing VR for a while. I watched an entire movie on the Quest recently, and I didn't notice the screen door effect once. It does become more visible when you're looking at things that are devoid of detail, though. I think the game that probably shows it the most is Super Hot because of its simplistic art style and significant amount of infinite white screens. I'm not paid by Oculus to say this, by the way. I bought the most expensive 128GB Quest from Amazon with my own money. I just love the Quest so much that I'd really hate to see people get turned away because they think the screen door effect is unbearable. If you're interested in learning more about the Quest, click on the card up in the top right hand corner to see my first impressions review of it. So I hope that was enlightening for you and I really hope it puts some of your fears about the screen door effect on the Quest to rest. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to support my content. And as always, have a great day.